My dear nerds, my dear nerds, there's no obsession out there, no obsession that comes even close to the one that I felt about the Anberneck RG35XXH. Lately, I've been really putting this handheld through its paces. I've installed MuOS, I've installed Batocera 40, I've installed every custom firmware out there for this freaking handheld. And I'm not gonna lie, I am very biased with MuOS, I love it, but it's not the best. It's not the best. No custom firmware is good enough right now for this hardware, and this is the truth. I do not like this answer either, but we have to accept it. Just like we had to accept in our childhood that Jennifer Aniston from Friends would never ever notice us or never even know we existed, so we have to accept now that unfortunately the best OS for the Anberneck RG35XXH I Anberneck is surprisingly the stock OS but with one minor but critical detail. You see the stock OS version that this shipped with was nothing more than duck poop. I'm still within the 3 minutes of YouTube so we're gonna go with duck poop. But Ambernet has been pretty aggressive with pushing out updates and now I dare say that the stock OS version for this handheld is one of the best, okay? And I can prove it, not mathematically, but I can prove it. But it's not all sunshine and roses, you see my dear, dear nerds. This is one of the ugliest operating systems that I happened to have the misfortune to see. What freaking person at Amberneck came with the idea, oh let's put icons but let's have them not fit, it will be artistic, let's have them cut off from the left and the right. It's horrible, it's something that I would expect to see in hell, when the devil would make me review handhelds which would all suck but this is a happy video, I'm gonna praise this handheld, so we're gonna push on, we're gonna move on. You see, the thing with the updated version of the stock OS is that everything works. There are things that simply don't work in basically any custom firmware out there. Both Batocera and MuOS have problems, for example, MuOS, last time I checked, had problems with HDMI. And I don't think Batocera does proper HDMI or Batocera has a problem with Bluetooth. I think Bluetooth is partially implemented. Some things work, some do not. With the stock OS, you basically have the guarantee that everything works. Plus, there are a few things that aren't even covered in custom firmwares. For example, vertical arcade games. These are amazing unhandled like this. And you might think that they are not. But Amberneck had the foresight to map the controls in such a way that you can use this device vertically for vertical arcade games. You wouldn't have a problem playing it. In fact, I would dare say that it's fun this way. You'd basically use this joystick to move and, and the buttons to shoot, but the whole thing is a drastically different experience than any other game that I could play in landscape. And I've not seen Batocera nor MuOS use this for vertical arcade games. Plus, there is just the peace of mind of knowing that you can use all functions of this device. I actually got a mini HDMI cable today and I connected this little thing on the TV. In fact, I might make a whole video out of it. Because crazy as it sounds, you can use the Anberneck RG35XXH like a sort of makeshift stupider Steam Deck where you can connect it to your TV and you can connect a Bluetooth wireless controller to the Anberneck and you can basically game on the couch and have fun with it or play with a friend. The thing is that you can also use the device while it's connected as a gamepad by itself and the other person can use a wireless controller and you can play things like Contra or I know NES games or whatever strikes your fancy. I only tried NES games as a proof of concept but if you have friends, if you're popular and if you have more than one friend, you know, this is an opportunity. The, any device becomes way more fun to use when you use it with other people. And the Anberneck RG35XXH gives you this possibility. But you cannot do this on custom firmware. That's kind of the thing. You can only do this on the stock OS. And 
Granted, I have a lot of gripes with the stock OS, I would wish we had the hibernate function from Onion OS, but we will never see that. Also, I would wish that this allowed me to quick resume games, which I can technically program into RetroArch, but eh, it's not the same. What I'm basically saying is that I will never have the same feeling that I have when I'm using Onion OS on this device, but this device is objectively better. Oh, and with this new stock OS update, you can find it on their site, if not, I might leave a link to it in the description, PSP emulation actually improved, and so did the Dreamcast, at least that's how it seemed to me. It might be a placebo effect, but I don't think I'm crazy enough to imagine extra performance. But you know, at the end of the day, this little guy is not that well known for its performance. So have I become an Anbernic shill? I guess I did a bit. And trust me, I didn't come to this conclusion lightly. I checked everything out there. Every freaking custom firmware besides MinUI. I didn't try that, nor do I think I ever will, because I think that's limiting on a handheld like this. But outside of that, I tried everything and I always come back to the stock OS. Do I wish that custom firmware would be better? Of course. Hell, I would love to stick to MuOS, for example. But as it stands, I can't in good conscience recommend it. So my dear nerds, sometimes tinkering is the quickest path to insanity. And the best thing that you can do is just stick with the normie operating system, the one that's most predictable, install the latest update from Ambernick's website, and sit back and relax, enjoy the sanity, and enjoy the Ambernick RG35XXH. But you know what I enjoy even more than this handheld? Showing you the people that support me and this channel. These guys are awesome right here. They went out of their way to support Vlad Nerd and whatever neurotic content I make here. And if you would also like to appear in this list with these awesome people, you can always become a channel member or a Patreon. Either way works and whichever you choose, you'll still end up on this wall of fame. These people shall go to Nerd Heaven. I will make sure of this. But anyway, this is supposed to be a quick video. I love you all very much. I'll try to push more content, way faster and way more often, so this connection between us only grows. You're as important to me as a sweet summer breeze in the mountain morning, which I love because my whole dream is to move in a freaking cabin in the mountains for that breeze. So just imagine how important you are to me if I compared you to that. In any case, my sweet nerds, I'll see you next time. I love you very much.